We made our component in Pattern Lab, but now we need to use it in Drupal. The process of wiring the component that we made in Pattern Lab with Drupal is referred to as component integration. There are different ways to integrate components with Drupal, but the one our team prefers is using presenter templates. Presenter templates are basically twig template suggestions you normally create when you want to override anything Drupal is doing by default. A presenter template or a template suggestions only job is to pass the data from Drupal to the component. And there will be more on that later. Before we can create template suggestions, it's recommended to turn on Twig debugging in our theme, as this will help us identify the templates that Drupal is currently using to render its content, as well as it will provide recommendations for new templates we can create for overrides. But first, let me show you our fresh Drupal install. Right now, we don't have our template suggestions turned on. So let's get that set up. All right, so under sites, then default, let's look for the default.services.yaml file and copy it to rename it as services.yaml and look for the line with debug false and change it to true. And let's change auto reload to true as well. Anytime we configure our settings, we should also clear our caches. Now that Twig debug is on, let's look at our template overrides. I'm going to open up DevTools and inspect the page. Now that we turned on Twig debug, we see a lot of comments. Template suggestions are a way to override Drupal is doing, but only for a specific type of content without changing Drupal's core functionality. The list here is in order from most specific to least specific. Sometimes you might want to override all instances of a content type for example, all basic pages or all articles. And maybe other times we only want to target a specific node, maybe the About Us page, for example. The line with the X means this is a template Drupal is currently using to render the content. So this isn't exactly related to template suggestions, um, but while we are updating our settings, let's turn off cache in development mode. So let's copy sites, example, dot settings dot local PHP and rename it to settings local PHP and move it into our site's default directory. Let's go to our original settings PHP file and uncomment the code under load local development override configuration. Okay, great. So let's go back to our uh, new settings.local.php file that we made. And let's uncomment these sections. Disable the render cache. Disable dynamic page cache. And disable internal page cache. All right, so now that we've done that, let's clear our caches. And if you had to change any permissions along the way, be sure to change them back. 